Hi, I'm Sierra Tishkart, Senior Editor of Grub Street, New York Magazine's food blog, and I'm here in CBS This Morning studio with Brian Voltaggio, who's a Maryland-based chef with five restaurants to his name. Welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's great to be here. Yes. Um, so I brought dessert for you. Thank you. Yeah. So you're cooking in a really exciting place right now. Uh, yeah, I am. And, and how are you seeing the D.C. area's food scene evolving? Well, I mean, I think it's more than just D.C. I think it's the entire Mid-Atlantic. There's a cuisine there that, that you know, that it has stories behind it, but I don't think it's really being told. And mm -hmm. so, um, you know, all the way along the, the entire Chesapeake watershed, there's a lot of really great things that are going on. I mean, not only is our growing region really well, I mean, really great, there's um, just an, an abundance of product, obviously, being close to the Chesapeake, mm -hmm. but also there's really a lot of great chefs that are celebrating what we're doing down there, and I think it's really fantastic. It's a great time to be cooking there. Definitely. And you're very active on social media. Why is that important to you, and what do you get out of that? Um, you know, I think it's it's a great opportunity to connect with people, um, you know, outside the kitchen. You mm -hmm. know, whether it be, you know, a guest who's following me just to, to see what's going on in the kitchen. Um, also, it's a great network, I think, for chefs. I mean, not always do we have time to actually, you know, call our colleagues. We kind of share ideas, and, you know, via social media. There's, mm -hmm. a, you know, a few people that I, I follow for that. Um, but you know, I think also it's just it's a it's an outlet. You know, it's an opportunity to share what you're doing in the kitchen, and um, you know, for me, it's important. Mm -hmm. And can share your personality too. Yeah, which a I bit. know people saw when you were on Top Chef and the reality television shows. Yeah, some people used to say that I was dry, though. Well, <laughs> I don't know. You can't please everyone, right? <laughs> yeah, right. I think I've gotten a little bit more active. In, yes. You know. And social um, media and stuff. So it's, it's now such a big part of the food industry. All mm -hmm. these shows. Um, do you think this rise, the celebrity chef and that culture, is it beneficial? Is it somewhat harmful? Um, you know, I, I, you know, I certainly grew up in a, in a kitchen in a mm -hmm. generation where um, you know, the likes of like Charlie Palmer, or Daniel Ballou, like all of these um, chefs who certainly were very pre prevalent in New York scene um, and across America. You know, kind of were pioneers of of that. And you know, I think now. Um, there's just so much going on. There's so much information that's out there. Mm -hmm. It's it's really great. I mean, as a chef, it's a, it's you know certainly it keeps you on your game, and you know you get to see what's going on all, you know all over the world at a moment's notice in food. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's fun. It's exciting. It's uh, it's great to see. Yes, a little healthy competition. Yeah, I mean, it's not about the competition. It's more just about you know new ideas and seeing what people are doing you know elsewhere. Um, mm -hmm. It's it's faster. It happens faster. I mean, even though you'll never know what it's like until you try the dish. Mm -hmm. it's, it's still good to, to kind of get a glimpse into somebody else's kitchen. Certainly. So can you tell me about this dish? Yeah, so this is uh, inspired by a trip that my brother and I took. We um, toured barbecue one year, and we went to all of these really great cities. What we found is it always ended with banana pudding, which is iconic mm -hmm. to, that, you know, to that cuisine. But um, this is a little bit different. This is banana butterscotch, um, has caramelized bananas like, you know, throughout. Uh, it has a shortbread cookie in there for some Ooh. crunch, and then um, you know, a cream cheese mousse, which is just really delicious. So you kind of got to like, you know, crack it, yes. you know, the, the cookie inside. Um, be careful when you do it and kind of just dig down, you know, deep into it uh -huh. and get, um, you know, some of the caramelized banana and then just take a really great bite. Mm. That's so great. Yeah. And that's from your Sweet, new cookbook, rich, Home. Delicious. Yeah, it right? is. All about home cooking. Great. Well, thank you so much for sharing it with and me. Of course, yeah, absolutely. It was great to have you. Thank you. I'm Sierra Tishkart from Grub Street, and we're in CBS This Morning, Studio 57.